Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Today we are going to learn how to use Ozoblockly. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated and the Ozoblockly editor. After today's lesson, you will be able to use Ozoblockly to navigate through Ozoblockly's different levels, connect and program loops, light effects, sound and timing blocks, delete unneeded blocks, and run your program using your Ozobot and Bluetooth. Before we dive in, let's talk about some vocabulary, code, and program. Let's define the terms. Code, instructions written in a programming language. Program, a complete set of instructions written in code that the computer executes to achieve a particular objective. What's the difference? Think of it this way. Pieces of code are combined to create programs. Today, you will use Ozoblockly to build block-based programs. Ozoblockly is a block-based editor. This editor allows you to create programs for Ozobot using blocks that can be selected, dragged, and dropped, and connected together like puzzle pieces. Programs written with Ozoblockly can be sent to Ozobot Evo via Bluetooth. This means Ozoblockly sends the program wirelessly to Ozobot and Ozobot can run the program. Let's get started. On the left side of the screen, there is a panel. This panel is where the blocks for programming are found. Ozoblockly has five levels. What do you notice about the difference between the levels? Level 1 is designed for beginners and level 5 is designed for advanced users. As you go up in levels, there are more block categories that contain more advanced blocks. Today, you will be working with level 2. Find and click on level 2. What block categories do you see? Let's explore Ozoblockly. You've selected level two and you can see five different block categories. The categories are movement, light effects, timing, loops, and sounds. Click on the different block categories. Notice there are different types of blocks within each category. For example, what do you think the blocks in the sound category will tell your bot to do? That's right. When programming with these blocks, Ozobot will make different sounds. What about the other categories? Movement will allow you to program your bot to move. Light effects will allow you to program Ozobot's LED lights. Timing will allow you to control the time between blocks. And loops will allow you to program repeating sequences. Now look to the right of the panel to find the workspace. The workspace has a larger area and is where you will build your program. Let's practice. Click on light effects, select rainbow, and drag the rainbow block to your workspace. Your turn to practice your workspace. Can you drag and drop the rainbow block into your workspace? Before you construct your program, let's review the four icons found in your workspace. The four icons are a trash can, a pair of blocks, a left arrow, and a right arrow. Let's practice using them. Select the rainbow block. You'll know when you've selected it when you see the block outlined in white. After selecting the block, click on the duplicate icon. The duplicate icon has a plus symbol on it. What happens when you click this button? That's right, the block duplicates or makes a copy. Now click on the undo button, which is the arrow turning to the left or counterclockwise. What happens when you click undo? That's right, it undoes your last action and in this case, it undoes your duplication of the rainbow block. Now, click on the redo button or the button turning right or clockwise. What happens? In this case, it brings the block back. 
Can you practice using the duplicate, undo, and redo icons? There are four ways to delete blocks. The first way is to drag and drop a block or a group of blocks into the side panel area. The second way is to drag and drop blocks over the trash icon. The third way is to right click and to select delete block. The final way is used to completely delete everything. If you'd like to completely delete everything, click on the trash and select yes to delete all blocks. Choose one of these ways to delete all of the blocks in your workspace. Now that you know how to navigate around Ozo Blockly, you are ready to construct a program. Let's start with a simple program that gets Ozobot to move. Click on the movement category. Here you can see the different blocks available in level two that program Ozobot's movements. You will program your bot to move forward. Select the first block in the list and drag it to your workspace. Notice there are three fields with drop-down menus. In level two, the blocks utilize drop-down menus for you to adjust the code. In more advanced levels, there are fields you can type in. Let's practice with the drop-downs. To see my bot move, I will adjust the number of steps to 10. My block now reads, move forward distance 10 steps, speed medium. Can you find the move forward distance one step speed medium block and drag it into your workspace? Then adjust the number of steps to 10. Now that you've adjusted your code, you are able to run it. Be sure your bot is connected by looking at the bot icon. If the bot icon is teal, you are connected. Click on run program. Did your bot do what you programmed it to do? Now you get to add more to your program. You will choose blocks from the other categories and connect them to the block in your workspace. Watch me as I add blocks from the light effects, timing, loops, and sound categories. I'll also adjust some of the pull down menus. If you use a loop block, explore what happens when you put lines of code in the loop. You'll learn more about loops in a later lesson. Based on my program, what do you think my bot will do? Let's run the program. Choose a block from each category, add them to your program, adjust any pull downs that you'd like, run the program, and observe the behavior of your bot. Great job constructing your first program with Ozo Blockly. Now you should be able to navigate through Ozo Blockly's levels, connect and program loops, light effects, sounds, and timing blocks delete unneeded blocks, and run your program on your Ozobot using Bluetooth. If you're looking for more to do, you can continue to explore the different levels of Ozoblockly and build different programs. Come back again soon for our next lesson.